Hello and welcome back to Journey Beyond. Today I will be previewing a mixed media bag that I got from Crafter's Companion. Um, I actually did get it about three weeks to a month ago and I haven't been able to videotape it yet. So I just wanted to show you guys um, what I got because I know they have some um, more mixed media bags coming out of the UK clearance warehouse. So I just wanted to show you what I got um, three weeks ago to a month ago compared to what I will be getting because I ordered another um, mixed media warehouse bag off the UK clearance. Alright you guys, so first we're going to start with, let's see, I might just kind of pull it all out so you guys can see everything because I do have a few bottles and I don't want to drop them on my glass media mat here. So this again, this is from Crafters Companion. This was their mixed media mystery bag. Okay, so let's see. First we're going to start off with, I got Magic Cuts 2-pack. Um, I guess they're just like cut out. These are intricate laser cut velvet border images. So they kind of look like... And then I got the Imagination Crafts Mixed Media Art Stencil. So now when I look at this, this kind of reminds me of like the military. <laughs> I don't know why, but it kind of does with the little arrows and just the little designs right here. And this one is, um, this is Imagination Crafts as well. And these are flowers. And these are butterflies, flowers, and little swirls. Those are cute. And these ones, um, birds, little swirls, little flowers. Those of you who like stencils, you'd probably really like this. I do like stencils. I know there are some people who don't care for them. I really like them. You can be very creative with them, make different background scenes. They almost can look watercolor too, depending on the type of ink you use. And then this is um, the same Imagination Crafts. And this is Damask. I actually have this design, the um, the foil press stamp in this. It's very, very pretty. But this is just a regular acrylic stamp. And then I got, <clears throat> let's see, candle paint. This is like a festive green, like a holly green, and it's uh, metallic. And then I got Starlight's metallic paint in lilac mist. So I wonder if these would be similar to the Crafter Companions um, metallic paints like they sell in the, the jars. I wanted to order those last week and they had a really good deal on them, but I just missed them. They had just, um, they were, it was on their Monday, Monday Maker Show and I think some of the specials they have, they're only up for maybe like 10, 24 hours I think and I, I just missed it. Um, this one is Starlight's metallic paint apple green. You guys can see that. It's really pretty. Mix good with this green over here. Um, then I got a Starlight's Metallic Paint Menthol. So I do have a couple of other paints like that I've, I've gotten in like Hobby Lobby and w even Walmart. I like the chalk paint. It's really, um, really cool things you can do with that if you want to like repurpose um, bottles or if you want to paint over like antique, I don't want to say antique decorations, but if you want to like make them look more antique, like if you want to get like a used candle holder, I've seen people do picture frames, you can do so much stuff with that. This is fashion spray. Now this I've never, I've never used or heard of. I'm sure it's exactly what it says is to give color to textiles. So you can use it for stenciling, freehand spraying, and many other techniques. I guess we're going to have to check that out. And this is pink. So that's what that looks like. I'm sorry. And then, let's see, I have Just Pearls, Liquid Jewelry. I have Antique Brown. This, again, this whole line right here I have um, is Imagination Crafts. Just pearls. And then last, you guys, I have another fashion spray. It's a green one. 
Um, this one is leaf green. So I guess it's the kind of same kind of idea. You could use it for stenciling. You could use it for, I don't know, for whatever you want to add, just a splash of color to any type of fabric or textile you're working on. I'd probably put this like on my glass media mat and then maybe would try to like paint it in like a watercolor. I don't know if I would necessarily spray it. I don't really like those splotchy effects, although I do like them on cards, but, and this is for fabric, so. All right, you guys, this is a short video. I just wanted to show you what was in the mixed media bag. I don't know if the one I'm going to get is going to be something similar, because um, I know they just had that U.S., <coughs> I mean, that U.K. clearance on Crafter's Companion. You know, surprisingly, even two days after, um, they did not sell out of their mystery bags. They're just warehouse mystery bags, and they did not sell out of their Christmas ones. They sold out of everything else, so kind of curious about how that went maybe because people were disappointed in the first one I'm not sure <laughs> but all right you guys thank you for joining me again and I'll see you next time thanks